experts are back with the return of Getaway at 8.30 gripping drama with E.R. followed by the Footy Show Live. There must be a catch here somewhere. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Roving reporter Pete Smith here with a question. What is your favorite 7 o'clock TV show? Let's ask a few people. Excuse me, sir, what is your favorite... Damn this war, Grace. Damn this war. What's your favorite 7 o'clock TV show? Speak when you're spoken to, Smith. Talk about the young doctors. Excuse me, what's your favorite... Oh, seven never mind that. Open wide. Excuse me, sir, what's your favorite 7 o'clock TV show? Look what I'm doing to my delicatessen. It will be the greatest thing ever. It will change people's lives. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to have the sale of this century. Tonight, we proudly present the battle of the TV classics on Sale of the Century. And now, for Heat 4, please welcome Glenn Rich. Thanks very much, Peter. Hello, Hi, how are you? Welcome to Sale. Uh, this is the last of our heats in the Battle of the TV Classics. We've had the Sullivans, number 96, and also Prisoner. And tonight, you're going to have a lot of fun. Some familiar faces. And to tell us who they are, please welcome Nikki Buckley. How are you, Nicholas? I'm Glenn, how are you? Really good, really good. It's been good fun over the last few nights, just seeing people and also finding out what they've been up to. Yeah. And tonight, we've got a very, very special one. So who's playing? Okay, Glenn. Well, you'll remember her as the ever-nasty sister Grace Scott at the Albert Memorial Hospital. Our first contestant was never much fun at the local hangout Bunnies, but she did liven up the on-screen of Sons and Daughters, Prisoner and Division 4. Please welcome the matronly Cornelia Francis. Hello, Cornelia. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Now, open up and say, ah, Glenn, because our second contestant played the popular playboy Dr Chris Piper, remembered for his deep interest in the female anatomy. Yeah. And when he wasn't being wrapped over the knuckles in Dr Denham's office, he was off at Bunnies having an unhealthy drink or two. Let's welcome the medical expertise of Bartholomew John. How are you, Bartholomew? Great to and be here. And this contestant says the sweet smile of a caring young nurse. Her background as a well-loved TV soap actress extends from her role as Tanya in The Young Doctors to the clumsy pixie in Prisoner. Please welcome the wonderful bedside manner of Judy McBurney. Hello, Judy. How are you? And our final contestant liked to play doctors and nurses with Tanya Livingstone, even though he was just the hospital orderly. In real life, he's taken his medical role to heart, having helped his wife through seven hospital deliveries. Please welcome Chris King. Hello, Chris. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's great Thank to you. see everyone here from the Young Doctors. Cornelia, how long ago was The Young Doctors when we talk about it? I Can knew you... you were going to ask that. I looked it up. 1976 it started. September 1976. Gosh. Uh, yeah. And how long to go for? Five and a half years. Mm. Uh, it was I didn't stay there that long, though. I was there for the first three, and then I went to Melbourne. But um, Chris did. Yeah. Um, and Judy. And Gwen Plum did. And um, I did. We and Judy did. did. Yeah. Yeah. Two Judy did. Yeah. 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 Judy did. What are you up to at the moment, Cornelia? Um, I wish a director would ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, I'll go and find one for you. But good luck tonight, no, Cornelia. I had a, a huge year last year doing steaming all over Australia and, oh, and yes. New Zealand. So. Yep. Um, I was very, very busy, so I'm having a nice little rest. Selling wine, actually, at the moment. Fantastic. <laughs> good luck tonight. Yeah, Thank you. Have some fun. Bartholomew, I have to admit, I was only a young girl, but I did have rather a crush on you back in those years. Oh, uh, I did. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been up to since then? Well, uh, say this year, the beginning of the year, I did a, uh, an American telly movie called Space with uh -huh. David Nutter, who's the director behind uh, The X-Files. Oh. I'm heavily involved in the corporate field of training, helping people with their presentations. And in August, I'm off to South Australia to do a season of I Hate Hamlet at the Adelaide Arts Theatre. Wonderful. Very busy. Fabulous. Yep. And Bartholomew, I was only a young lad and I didn't even look twice at you. Good luck tonight, though. Right. Judy, um, prisoner, we talked about the bumbling side. As far as the young doctors, what did you enjoy most about it? About the young doctors? Yeah. I liked working for six years. <laughs> I liked the people I work with and uh, we were really like a family. We really did and still do love each other. And I found that really, really nice. Um, I also like my character. I thought she was really, really yeah. quite sweet. You know, she was a good person. Oh, good. Well, good luck tonight. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Thank you. You For will. For sure. 
Now, Chris, your wife Susie is here, I believe. She we is. must say Chris hello. Susie. Where is she? She's there. Right hello, Susie. Yeah. Seven children. They're Couldn't get out of the hospital. Young to have could seven it? children. <laughs> How old are they? Um, Sixteen down to ten months of age. Sixteen. Gosh, there you go. What have you got to say about that, Chris? <laughs> what have I been doing since the young dog? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been working pretty hard to support them. We own the Johnny Young Talent School on the Central Coast. Hi, everybody. Right. I also work, work uh, training athletes for media presentation. I compare and uh, do a lot of variety work singing with our Johnny Young Talent team. And, and then I go home and just relax with Susie and the seven, seven kids. kids. <laughs> wow. Any plans for going to the hospital again, Susie, or...? Definitely not. Oh, no, I'd call it quits after seven, I'd say. As everyone's doing, we actually have a show on the drawing boards called King of the Castle, which is about myself and seven Jeez. kids. Oh. A real family playing a real family. Oh, good. Well, good luck with that, Chris. Yeah. Hey, good luck to everyone. Let's get on to the game. $20 yeah. starting money, okay. and we'll see you in, in the, the gift shop. shop. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind that the winner of tonight's show goes into the grand final, two-night final, which starts tomorrow night. So good luck all. Question one. According to the proverb, never look a gift horse where? Chris. In the mouth. Yes. Played by Joe Hashem on number 96 was Australian TV's first gay male character. Chris. Don Finlayson. Don Finlayson is correct. Here's an audio question. Who is the star of this classic cartoon? <laughs> Bartholomew. Woody Woodpecker. That's correct. And that was the theme there. For Provided by a restaurant for the carrying home of leftovers, Chris. Doggy bag. Is a doggy bag, correct. The first Australian to present shows from the Soviet Union and Communist China was entrepreneur Michael Hu. Chris. Edgeling. Yes, and go, starting very well there, Chris. You're in the lead by $15. You're on $40, so you can buy here with Nikki. Well, Chris, your viewer can get smart with this wonderful telecom smart facts. Maxwell can give the old shoe phone the flick because this 3000 fax machine features an integrated handset, on hook dialing, redial operation, and a digital answering machine. I think this information's uh, a bit too secret, Agent Buckley. Well, <laughs> I think we need the cone of silence. Um, well, sorry, Agent 86, but as usual, the uh, cone of silence is not working. Now, it's normally $1,099, but tonight, get smart for just $6 from Telecom and Sale of the Century. Not the old not working code of silence, code of silence too. Smash! Chris, you can buy for your viewer at home, your $15 a head, $6 it'll cost you if you want to buy it. $6 going once. Ooh! Oh. And bought for $6, yes. What a nice chat. Still leading though on $34 as we get back to the questions. Paul Mooney, Edward G. Robinson, Rod Steiger, Jason Robards and Robert De Niro have all portrayed which American gangster? Chris. Um, <laughs> Who would you have said, Bartholomew? Uh, Godfather? No, Al Capone. Al Capone. Oh, I was going to say... I was going to say that. <laughs> what did you say before I made a fool of myself? And me too. But I didn't, I was, I didn't know just getting I was back to the questions here just for a minute. <laughs> According to the well-known nursery rhyme, Diddle Diddle Dumpling, my son John, uh, Cornelia? Went to bed with his diet cap on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Went to bed with his trousers <laughs> on. <laughs> Fame game, $10 behind one of our famous faces, Who Am I? Born in Adelaide in 1923, I came to Sydney as a 16-year-old and worked in the women's fashion department of a large store. In 1947, I worked at a country radio station broadcasting livestock results at the Orange Easter Show before returning to Sydney where I became a DJ and a sports commentator and the first Australian to call a world boxing title fights. In the early 60s, after running popular radio quizzes, I produced... Chris. Jack Davey? No. I produced and compared a TV show that screened six days a week and recently sold my worldwide production company, Bartholomew. Reg Grundy. Yes, and a very nice man too. Mr. Reg Grundy. Sold it for more than $300 million. Good answer, Bartholomew. $10 is behind one of our famous faces, who tonight are... Delvine Delaney. Nurse Jojo and the Young Doctors. Gil Tucker. Uh, the bumbling constable Roy Baker in Cop Shop. Peter Tapano. Played Karen Travers in Prisoner. Peter Lochran. Dr Peter Holland and the Young Doctors. Our home viewer, Cassandra Dart. Cassandra comes from Helen's Vale in Queensland, and Cassandra's ambition is to be a contestant on sale. And it's great to have you with us, Cassandra. Yeah. Andrew McFarlane. Loving son of Grace and Dave Sullivan, John. Sheila 
Sheila Keneally and Gordon McDougall. Norma and Les Whitaker from number 96. Chuck Faulkner. Sergeant Vickers from Division 4. And Peter O'Brien. Late Sam on The Flying Doctors. That's the choice, Bartholomew. Who would you like? Well, I was going to keep it in the family, but she looks so cute. Cassandra. Isn't she a sweetie? Yeah. Here's the home viewer. Well, your viewer can paint the town red or any colour they like with this wonderful range of painting products, Bartholomew. Along with brushes and overalls, they're valued at $641 from Hammerite. Good price, good game. Yeah, Chris leading on $29, but anyone can win from here, so we'll be back shortly with round two. The escape experts are back. <laughs> Australia's secret extreme adventure. The getaway guide to the shopping capital of the world. I think I might buy this. Experience the bargain priced island paradise and the incredible trek of a lifetime. Getaway 7.30 tonight on 9. <laughs> well, not this century. Oh, pull the other one. Not the body takeaway. How? I never win anything. Barley, hmm? Barley. Been there. Barina. Right now, your Holden dealer is doing great deals on Barina. Barina. Buy now and you can save big bucks. That's right, you can get into a brand new Holden Barina from as low as 13770. That's 13770. But we can't hold the price this low for long. Don't you miss out. See a participating Holden dealer now. Hello, Pop. Yeah. Hey, boys, I'm helping your Pop's place. He's very busy. Pop is still have lots of fun. My pop can do anything. Most people don't get enough fibre every day. A single bowl of Kellogg's All Bran provides one third of your daily fibre needs. It's made from natural wheat bran and is low in fat to help keep your living life the way you want it. You're going to be doing that forever. I hope so. Kellogg's All Bran keeps you healthy on the inside every day. Can't sleep. I'm worried about Jenny. Hey. Okay. Jobs are so hard to get, and she'll need a car, a house. Insurance. And she'll have children. Exactly. And then she'll have to think about investment and superannuation. Who's going to help her do all that? Relax. Merck's taking good care of us. I'm sure Jenny will be just fine. Turn it up for the footy show. Live 9.30 tonight on 9. Welcome back uh, to round two. And Bartholomew and Cornelia... Your viewers' names are on the bottom of the screen at the moment, so that's who you're playing for. And at the moment, Bartholomew, you're only $4 off the pace. So let's get into it. Round two. Though set in the fictional country of Ragan, the ABC series Embassy caused offence to which Asian nation? Bartholomew. Malaysia. Yes, leading by a dollar. Natalie Wood starred in the film Bob and Carol and Ted and Pooh. Chris. Chris. Yes. Fame game, $15 being added to the board. What is my name? I'm a classic Australian television series which first aired in October 1964 and ran for 509 episodes. A Crawford production, I was one of the first series to combine studio and location filming. Most, Bartholomew. Homicide. I am Homicide, yes. Leonard Toole, Jack Fagan and later Charles Tingwell. Some big names associated with that. Trailing by $4, Bartholomew, you can shoot into the lead. So who would you like this time? I will keep it in the family now and it'll be Dalvin Delaney, if I may. Oh, here's Delhi, yes. Bartholomew, your viewer will go nuts over this great prize. This hamper contains a selection of macadamia nut products, including pate, honey and chocolates. Value $150 from Payton's. Good prize for your viewer. Trailing by $4, Chris still in the lead on 34. Back to the questions. The star of Halifax FP is Rebecca who? Cornelia. Give me. Yes. The Montgolfier brothers invented the hot air watts. Bartholomew. Balloon. Yes. The star of TV's Bewitched was the late Elizabeth Chris. Montgomery. That's correct. And with the scores now, Chris on 39, Bartholomew 35, Judy and Cornelia on 20. 30 seconds up on the clock for fast money and your time starts now. Which food has the type Dagwoods? Chris. Dogs. Stop the clock. More info. Frankfurt's. Mm, I don't think we can accept that. I think you're on the wrong food here. No, we can't. Okay. Sandwich or hot dog is the only answer we can accept there. So we have 26 seconds remaining and we're going to restart the clock 
Now, what do we call a female deer? Chris. A doe. Yes, uh, what type of living thing is a pilchard? Chris. It's a fish. Yes, in which year did the Korean War begin? Bartholomew. 54. 50. Uh, the host of an American TV chat show is Phil Who? Chris. Donahue. Yes, a popular band is Crash Test Watts. Chris. Dummies. Yes, uh, what is the world's longest river? Denial. An Oscar-winning actor was Spencer Who, beginning with T. Chris. Racy. That's correct. And well played, Chris. You're on $59. You are leading by $29, which means you can buy for your viewer at home once again here, Chris. Just like those classic TV memories, these elegant claret jugs become all the more precious with time. Perfect for holding all that vintage wine, these silver-plated receptacles are hand-cut from 30% lead crystal with embossed silver-plated mounts. Together with the reproduction Old Sheffield tray, they're normally $2,500, but tonight you can toast to old-fashioned style. They're just $10 from White Hill Silver and Sale of the Century. Chris, you're good friends with everyone here, and everyone's getting on really nicely. At the moment, you're 29 ahead. To keep that friendship intact, you should buy this for $10. Going once, for your viewer, going twice. Oh, Chris. A couple of hundred dollars for your viewer at home, too. Yes. Yeah, well done. That's what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and their friendship's still intact. That's the most important thing. Here's the viewer's question. Have a good think about this one during the break. What colour are the eyebrows on the Mona Lisa? We'll tell you after the break. Sample a colourful collection of new season roses. Discover a twist on the art of horsemanship. You've lost your own. And meet singer-songwriter Jenny Morris. Now, Don, I've got a bit of a problem here. Burke's Backyard, Friday, 7.30 on 9. They reckon I'm tough, braving the outback. But you should have seen me trying to avoid a mammogram. Then I found out that the biggest risk factor with breast cancer is age. When you're over 50, a mammogram can pick up a cancer the size of a grain of rice long before you'll feel it. So I had a mammogram. Easy. If you're over 50, call 13 20 50 for your free mammogram. Don't put it off any longer. This family has the home loan that lets them pay off their pool more quickly at home loan interest rates. This man bought his car at home loan rates with a term that suited him. And this couple paid home loan rates to make their home improvements sooner. Which bank gives you home loan interest rates on your other loans? Australia's leading home loan bank, Commonwealth Bank. These two big names in petrol have joined forces with the biggest game on TV to bring you a winner. And it's all tied into our nightly cash card segment. Yep, until August the 4th, anyone who spends $10 or more at Ampol or Caltex gets a cash card. And if they scratch the right day... And the same suit as the $5,000 cash card machine on our show, they could win not $5,000, but $10,000. And that's every day. Over six weeks, that's $300,000. So come on, Glenn, let's go and fill up. Buy your petrol at Ampol or Caltex now. After taking the West End by storm, Australia's most successful musical ever is coming home to Sydney. Hot Shoe Shuffle, starring David Atkins, Deborah Byrne, Jack Webster and the fabulous Tap Brothers at Her Majesty's Theatre from August 10. Book now. Did you know that one in 15 women develop breast cancer and most of those women are over 50? If you're over 50, call 13 20 50 for your free mammogram. Just what, what is this phenomenon? It's scary, isn't it? Called Hey Hey. It's got a suck function. I hope they find a cure. Saturday, Culture, The Cruel Sea, Linda and Picker, plus Adam Riley. Somebody hit that gong! Hit that gong! Hey Hey on 9. And your question, what colour are the eyebrows on the Mona Lisa? Have a think about it. There are no eyebrows on the Mona Lisa, so no colour at all. Chris and Judy, time to have a look at your viewers' names. They're on the screen at the moment. Chris, yours would be wrapped. And Judy, you're still in there. Yeah. You've got a chance, oh, so let's yes. get into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Round three. Mm -hmm. The title role in which Crawford's police series was played by stand-up comic Lucky Grills? <coughs> Bartholomew. Louis. That's right, Detective Sergeant Bluey Hills. How many sons did Fred McMurray eventually have? Chris. Four. In my three sons, that's correct. <coughs> Had uh, only the adopted son. Cash card, time to play the pokies, and Chris, you get the opportunity to do that. We have $5,000 for your viewer, maybe, and this prize. Well, if you're ever lost in space like Will Robinson and Dr. Smith, this superb Constellation watch is going to keep you way ahead of time. Oh, you fumbling booby. <laughs> 
Made from 18 karat gold and stainless steel, this gents watch is going to travel alongside with you in perfect timing. It's valued at $2,950 from Amiga and Sale of the Century. That's the prize. We also have to take five cards, uh, which means you can take $5 off Judy Bartholomew or Cornelia. And uh, we have the $15 to go back on your score. You'd like to give it a go? Absolutely. Certainly would. OK, $15 coming off. You're now $39, only $4 ahead of Bartholomew, but a potential $5,000 there, Chris. So, which suit? Hearts, spades, clubs or diamonds? Well, having consulted with Susie if we ever got in this position, <laughs> the boss says clubs. The boss, the boss says, says clubs. clubs. I right. wonder what position he was talking about. Well, good luck to the home view. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, you want this machine played? <laughs> Here we go. It's $5,000 going home. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. $5,000. Well now done. this is for the home view. All right, right, OK. Now, Chris, that yeah, is Chris. for your viewer as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah, unfortunately it's not yours though, you know that, don't I you? I know Chris? that, no, it's great for that person out there. It board, certainly is, they're wrapped. You were very excited there, Chris. That's yeah, all. no, it's terrific, I think it's great. It is fantastic, okay. so congratulations to the viewer. Let's get back to the questions though. Born in which country was Helio Iglesias? <coughs> Cornelia? Spain. Yes. First produced in Australia in 1947 was which top-selling brand of instant coffee? <coughs> Cornelia? Nescafe. Yes. Same game. Last chance to pick some money up off the board, so it's an important question. $25 in the wild card. Who am I? Born in South Carolina in 1917 and dying in 1993, I studied musical theory and harmony before joining the big bands of Cab Calloway and Billy Eckstein. A co-founder of the bebop jazz movement with Thelonious Monk and Charlie Parker, my many compositions include A Night in Tunisia, Groove Bartholomew. Dizzy Gillespie. The great Dizzy Gillespie, yes. Also Groove and High and On Alma. Well answer Bartholomew, you are only trailing by $4, which means you can go into the lead if you pick correctly. Who would you like? Sheila Canelli. All right, and, here's uh, Sheila. And Gordon, of course. Good luck. It's a beautiful answer, and it deserves a great big beauty package for your viewer, including a big shot hair dryer and men's and ladies shavers. Value $490 from Remington. Nice prize, Bartholomew, behind the Whittakers from number 96. Where was the rest of the money, Nikki? Well, the wild card was with Gil Tucker. Chuck Faulkner had the $10, Andrew McFarlane had the $15, and Peter Tapano had the $25. That's where the money was, and it's a great battle here. Chris on 39, Bartholomew 35, Cornelia 30, and Judy 20. The winner of tonight's show will be representing the Young Doctors in the start of our grand final series tomorrow night. So we'll be back shortly with the Mad Minute. Coming up online, the escape experts are back with everything you ever needed to know about exploring the planet. The new series of Getaway, next. Prices are on the rise, but at Retrovision's biggest stock take sale of electrical appliances... We're keeping them down. A low sale price on this Samsung stereo TV. Big deals on this autofocus remote control camcorder. This Samsung remote TV... At a low stock take sale price. Plus, we're offering no deposit, nothing to pay for 100 days. So hurry down to the biggest stock take sale only at... Retrovision, the biggest retailer of electrical appliances. Man was created with a cage of 12 protective ribs. But man was not intended to travel at speeds of 100 kilometers an hour and more. So the engineers of Mercedes-Benz have created a cage of 96 ribs, each forged from high tensile steel in the latest C-Class. With the unmatched protection of 96 ribs, it's the rib cage for today. Does your credit card let you earn reward points every time you make a purchase with it? No. Does it give you bonus points from thousands of outlets around Australia? No. Does it offer the kind of rewards you want? No. Well, you deserve one that does. The new Telstra Visa card. Now this sounds like fun. But that's a bargain. Sounds like fun to me. It's a bargain every weekend. For more fun. Into the bargain. Have a party, bargain, Sunny Holt Road Cafe. Hooray! Have you seen kids and jelly jam? The bunnies? Huh? Whoa! Yum! Yeah, Connie's kids jelly jam. All natural. No lumps, no pips. 
Australia's first astronaut. One small step for man, one giant leap for an Australian. The announcement of his mission. Fantastic. And a spectacular tour of shuttle headquarters. Also, Tracy Cura ringside with Costia Zoo, Sunday on 60 Minutes. Down to the main minute, who's it going to be to represent the young doctors? We'll find out in 60 seconds' time. Good luck all, 60 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts... Now, a star of TV's Bonanza was Lorne who? Chris. Green. Yes, which sport featured in the John Candy film Cool Runnings? Bob Sledding. In which film did Helen Moore star as Sydney Barmaids? Chris. Teddy. Yes, uh, with which of the arts do we associate Sir William Dobell? Chameleon. Painting. Yes, uh, a British comic is Alexi who? Trudy. Gail. Sale. <laughs> who is the father of actor Michael Douglas? Chris. Kirk Douglas. Yes, a long-running British soap here is Coronation what? Chris. Street. Yes, who is the shadow federal treasurer? <laughs> Chris. Peter Reith. Peter Costello. What is Britain's largest department store? Chris. Harrods. Yes, uh, what do we call the decorative art of knotting cord or rope? Cornelia. Macrame. Yes, uh, which Aborigine is a presenter on the great outdoors? Cornelia. Ernie Dingo. Yes, uh, who is the star of the Nine Network sitcom Sybil? Cornelia. Simple Shepherd. Yes, uh, the host of What's Cooking is Jeff Who. <laughs> Jeff Jansen, Chris, you've won the game. $59, but only by $9. Well done, Chris. Congratulations. Well done, indeed, but that was great. And Cornelia, you've won for your home to your $1,000 cash, so thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you had a great time. Yes, it's been great having you with us, Cornelia. Thank you. Bartholomew, you've won for your home viewer the $1,000 in cash, the painting products, the gourmet hamper and the beauty package, 2,281, so that'll be wrapped with that. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Bartholomew. Thank and you. And you've won $1,000 in cash for your home viewer, and I hope you have good fun tonight, too. <laughs> and they're wrapped, Judy, too. Thank you for coming along. Also, you've won for your viewers oh, the... nine. Tonight, following sale of the century, Burke's Backyard. Then at 8.30, the Kangaroos take on the Kiwis in the first rugby league test.